Hello, hello everyone. Um, okay, first of all, thank you guys so much for all of the love. I feel very, very grateful and thankful and just super, super grateful for all the support in the last few videos. Thank you guys so much to every single person subscribing and, and watching and commenting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see you. And we are continuing the saga, all right? So listen, bitch. Um, oh, no, girl, I flung out my fake nose ring. Anyways, bitch. I have like a whole stash of them. Anyways, we gotta talk, okay? So grab a snack and a drink. If you are new, my name is Sebastian. And as you can see from just 30 seconds, I'm messy as fuck and I'm your new messy best friend, okay? So I want you to grab a snack and a drink, get comfortable because we gotta continue the tea with the Kardashians now being involved in the Hailey Bieber, Selena Gomez and Kylie Jenner drama. So as I've been, you know, keeping you guys updated with my last few videos, uh, Hailey Bieber and Kylie Jenner have have noticed a huge drop of followers. A lot of hundreds of thousands of people have unfollowed each of them after the Selena Gomez drama, right? Well, not only it is, a, is it affecting Hailey Bieber and us, uh, Kylie Jenner, it is now affecting the rest of the family. So I'm gonna go with you. Let's take a field trip and go look at all of their statistics and see exactly who is being affected by this and who isn't. Let's go. All right, you guys. So we have Kim Kardashian up first. Today, Monday, February 27th, she, oh, damn. She has lost 136,000 followers. Damn. Yesterday, she gained, girl, I can't, 200,000. So, I mean, you know, it goes up and down. But as you guys can see, Tuesday of last week, she lost 14,000. And Thursday, she lost 33,000. So, she is definitely being affected. Let's go to Kourtney Kardashian next. Hey, so let's see Kourtney's. Um, she continues to be an unbothered queen because she today gained almost 60,000 followers. You're just so embarrassing. That was my Kourtney Kardashian. Wasn't that horrible? Up next, we have Miss Kendall Jenner. Let's see if this drama is affecting her. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Today alone, she lost 145,000 followers followers bitch yesterday she gained 142 now most people are gonna say that those green ones are bots but on wednesday of last week she also lost twenty six thousand. but today is the biggest loss in kendall jenner's instagram in the past like month damn girl you know she is somewhere with bad bunny complaining and he's like oh yeah 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 all right now we have to do chloe money let's see if this drama is affecting her oh damn Girl, she lost 100,000 followers just today. Yesterday, she gained 230,000, but today she lost 100. And Wednesday of last week, she lost 160,000. All right, last but not least, let's see Kris Jenner. Girl, Kris Jenner said, this ain't affecting me, honey. She gained today 21,000 followers. So, you guys, listen, I'm going to tell you guys something. I have been watching the Kardashians since day one, okay, with Keeping Up the Kardashians on E. I, you know, I have always loved to, like, sort of, like, distract myself. It's like a good escapism, you know what I mean? I have fallen out of love with them, and I've fallen back in and, like, back and forth, you know. Um, But now it's just sort of like, girl, it's just, it, you know, damn, you know. And I can tell you one thing about the family and about Kris Jenner especially, girl. You know, she doesn't have that reputation for nothing, ho. Um, Kris Jenner is definitely going to do something because it is, it is now affecting, you know, Kim, Chloe, and Kendall, and of course, Kylie, and um, Courtney and Chris herself, they don't seem to be affected by it, but it's only a matter of time, right? I feel that they have such a strong business and they have gone through a lot of, you know, uh, trials and tribulations and drama, of course, and they've always seemed to sort of come out of it. But the issue here is that Selena Gomez is, it, you know, first of all, she is the most followed female in the whole entire world. Selena Gomez fans, girl, they don't play. They don't play, okay? And that's just the damn truth of the matter. And I don't blame them because I consider myself one too. 
I don't blame them because I always say this whenever I get a chance. Selena Gomez is only 30 years old and everything that she has been through is astonishing. You have a chronic illness, you have a freaking transplant, you have a public break uh, breakup, you have, you know, a music career, an acting career, you have mental health, you have, you know, body shaming that she receives on a daily. You have so many things and she has been able to keep a, you know, a, a beautiful a beautiful, calm, relatable mind. And on top of all that, of course, there's rare beauty. Selena Gomez is somebody who people look up to, who people can identify with, who people can relate to. And, you know, there's a reason why she's the most followed person, you know, female person in the whole entire world. Um, the, 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 and, you know, I, I just feel like Selena Gomez... She knows how to do things because she is, I believe, really truthfully just being herself. And then you take the Kardashians where, you know, all of their their image is aesthetics. You know what I mean? Everything has to be picture perfect. And so there's no room for error in that brand. But Selena welcomes error. You know, Selena welcomes trials and tribulations. The Kardashians don't. And that is why most likely they're going to have to do something about it because they don't want any, you know, anything to sort of like diminish their, you know, their, their aesthetic, their brands and everything. They all have a lot of brands. You know, you have KKW Beauty, you have KKW Skin, you have KKW, you know, McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, you have Chloe Good American, you have Chloe, you know, NASA, you have, you know, uh, Chloe um, Duck Duck Goose, you have, you know, Kendall Jenner 818, you have Kendall Jenner Modeling, you have Kendall Jenner freaking, you know, Mother Nature, you have, you know, bitch, th girl, they have so many freaking brands, you, you know, it, it, we will be here until tomorrow, you know? Although I do have to say, Kim Kardashian has such a good perfume, the Gardenia one. She doesn't make it anymore, but damn, that is such a good perfume. I haven't really smelled the other ones. But anyways, um, so they have so many brands that they depend on the public to consume, you know what I mean? And if the public is turning their backs against them, then they're gonna have to say something. And I feel that, you know, with with the Hailey Bieber, Kylie, and Selena now affecting the Kardashians, it is now becoming a huge thing. It's now becoming something that is way bigger than that, you know? And Hailey Bieber doesn't help herself. I'm gonna, I'm doing a video right now, uh, just gathering my info, but there's a video. She shaded uh, Selena Gomez today on Instagram. So that's probably gonna be the next video. So stay tuned for that. And then just a couple of other things that I have under uh, uncovered for you guys. Um, but yeah, I feel like at this point, it is really now affecting everyone. And, you know, I don't, Kris Jenner is probably like, you know, she always knows how to bank, you know, a situation. She knows how to take it to the bank, honey. Kris Jenner does not fucking play, baby. While we're sleeping, Kris Jenner is, you know, um, frantically typing and, and, and texting and, you know, moving things and going here and creating other brands and, you know, making more Kardashians and just, girl, she's everywhere, bitch. You know what I mean? Um, so don't be surprised if you're going to see this on next season's, uh, Kardashian Hulu show now, bitch. Okay. Um, but I don't know you guys, what do you think of the Kardashians being affected by this? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I am again, so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for the love and the support. Uh, I really, really, really do appreciate it. You actually have no idea. And um, I look forward to my next video. So stay tuned because I'm sure there's going to be a lot more tea. So have a fabulous day, you guys. I love you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.